Hey guys, uh, just to review, uh, this will be helping you get ready for your test, uh, which will be tomorrow during class. It's going to be about 10 to 15 questions. It will all be on the computer. And it's all going to be based on what we've been working through, the four types of transformations. So you're going to be able to at least have to know that translation is a shift, that a flip is a reflection, that a turn is a rotation, and then something getting bigger is a dilation. And then the second half of the week, we mainly just focus on translations and translations rules. So this packet is designed to kind of let you see everything that I could throw at you on the quiz tomorrow. So let's just do an example together. Uh, it's the first uh, problem in your packet. Um, it says translate five units to the right and one unit up. Now the first thing I want you to do is just go ahead and where it says graph the image of the figure, I want you to write and write the rule, okay? Because while graphing it's great, I also want to see that you can interpret the rule. So for this first one, it says it's a translation. It says we're going five units to the right and one unit up, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is do my rule, which says five units to the right, Right is a horizontal movement, and to the right is also positive. So I know that's my x coordinate. It's going to be x plus 5. And 1 up is my vertical move, and I also know that up's a positive 1. So that's going to be y plus 1. Now that's my rule. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is just apply that rule to the shape. So I'm going to start with point T, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. There is T prime. I'm gonna take G and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, up one. There is G prime. And last but not least, I'm gonna take point B, one, two, three, four, five, and one up. And there's B prime. Now I have it shifted, okay? I would love it also, um, this is the bare minimum I wanna see, but if you want to be do really good on your test and get a really good score, I'd highly recommend just go ahead and drawing the XY chart, and then your X prime, Y primes, and do your G, B, T, so G was at one, two, three, negative three, negative one. B was at negative three, negative five. And T was at negative one, negative one. And then after we put the rules, you're just gonna take that negative three plus five. That would be, oops, sorry. That would be two. And then negative one plus one, so two, zero. Uh, B would be at two, because two, uh, negative three plus five is two. Um, negative five plus one is negative four. And then last but not least, T would be at negative, would be at four, uh, zero okay if you can do that you're gonna do great on the test but bare minimum be able to write the rule and identify here and you're gonna have time now to work through the rest of your uh, pages this would basically be page one and then page two Page two looks like this for you guys and what it's asking is the rule the key is you have to identify um, we'll go, you have to identify your prime figures, obviously. So to do that, you're just looking for the little tick mark on it. That's how you know it's the after movement. And then it's saying write the rule. And what it's asking you to do is figure out how the shape's moving. So in this case, for number seven, it's moving two units to the right and one unit down. Since it's one since it's one down, that's going to be a minus one. 
Okay, and when I translate into my rule, it goes like this. X plus two, Y minus one. That's my rule, that's what it's looking for. You don't have to find all the coordinates, you just have to identify the rule for each one. But pay attention, remember we always gotta go point to point. So here it would be Z to Z, A to A, okay? Sometimes you guys will get mixed up and go to the different points. You don't wanna do that, you just wanna go straight to the point that you're going to, okay? And that's the tutorial that'll help you get through the first couple pages of that packet that you have. Um, and also make sure you're really prepared for your test.